Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper here with a Max for Live tutorial. This is a tutorial for beginners. Um, just kind of demonstrating how to send messages from a live menu to a different object that takes parameters and such. And in this instance, it's going to be the phaser object, phaser tilde object. And um, what I'm going to be doing is just quickly modifying Point Blank, uh, Point Blank Audio Music School's auto sidechain. Great device. It's uh, exactly what it is. It's an automatic sidechain. You drop it on your uh, your track, your channel, and it will automatically duck at quarter note speed depending on whatever your tempo is. It changes with the tempo, so if you're going faster or slower, it's always going to duck at quarter notes. The really cool thing about the plugin is that you can control the shape and time of the attack and decay, which can give you some really nice results. I highly recommend it. Uh, go, you've got to go grab it if you want to follow along with this tutorial because we're going to be modifying it. And what we're going to be doing is adding a menu like this where you can control uh, the speed of the frequency of the ducking. So if I turn this off and just play the loop right now, you're going to hear it ducking at quarter notes. Okay, and if I turn this off now or get rid of it and turn this one on, um, it's going to default when I drag and drop at quarter notes because nine times out of ten you want the ducking at quarter notes for like house music and such. But we can also change it to whole notes. And half notes. And eighth notes. And you can still control the attack, decay times, and shapes. And I just think it's a little bit of versatility there. Um, like if you're having some dubstep, you might want to be on half notes or something. And uh, I just wanted to kind of start making tutorials for Max for Live uh, basics, just like what certain objects do and how to use them to uh, manipulate other objects and just how workflow works inside of Max for Live because uh, it's very confusing to beginners and I was a beginner once and I want to help people, obviously. So let's get right into it. Okay, now that you've downloaded the uh, Point Blank Music School's auto side chainer and you've opened it up in Max for Live, we can see that it's a pretty smooth, pretty streamlined plugin. And uh, what we want to do is deal with the phaser tilde over here. And if we open up the help, you can see that the phaser tilde generates a sawtooth signal. And not only that, but we can set parameters in here, which is um, the initial frequency, okay? But we don't want to set the initial frequency to, say, 440. We want to set it to lock, at lock, is going to lock it to the global BPM up here. So that's what we want to do here. But we also have this 4N. And I want to delete this because this means quarter notes, okay? And I don't want to use quarter notes all the time. I want to say phaser, do quarter notes when I want quarter notes, half notes when I want half notes, whole notes when I want whole notes, etc. So the way we're going to do that is by setting up a messaging system via um, the live menu. So what I'm going to do is just come over here to this workspace, click over there and hit L, which is going to bring up my live objects, and then I'm going to hit M for menu. And as you can see, I've got live menu. Choose that. And if I open up the inspector here, you can see that it's remembered my um, my range is from before. But what's important here is that you want to put uh, quotations around uh, word pairs. So as you can see, I've got whole notes, which is two words. So if I want to keep that space inside of the menu, I have to put everything that I want to be on one um, range in quotations, and then separate uh, the ranges by a space. So let me erase this and just show you what I mean. It, when you do this inside of your max, it's going to look like this. One, two, three. 
Now, generally in programming, you put a comma to separate ranges, but here in Max, you just put a space. So if I wanted to say something like whole notes, and did this, what would happen is there would be four menu items now. There would be whole, notes, two, and three. So if I come out of here now, and I lock this down, and come over, you can see that it says whole, notes, two, three. But that's not what I want, right? I want it to say whole notes on just one um, menu item. So what the way to do that is to come in and put quotations around here. Okay, and now if I come out of here, lock it down, you can see that whole notes is now together inside of the menu here. So that's what we want to do. We want to go ahead and just write whole notes. I'm going to go whole notes inside of quotations, end quotation, space, new quotation. Um, we're going to go whole, what, half. Notes, space, quotation, quarter notes, space, eighth notes. Now, if you wanted, you could put this instead of uh, writing it out. And maybe that's what we'll do. I think that will look a little bit better. So I'm going to come in and just write half and quarter. Okay, there's one more thing we want to do inside of this inspector for the live menu, and that's initial enable, which means we want to, first of all, we want to activate that. And what this means is that when you drag your Max for Live device into uh, Ableton, Ableton Live, uh, it automatically is set to a parameter. And the ranges here for the programming side of things starts 0, 1, two, three. So we're going to have to put a number down here which will correspond to one of these menu items. And as I said before, nine times out of ten you want your auto sidechain to be on quarter notes. So we're going to set it up to be uh, initially on quarter note uh, menu selection. So what I'm going to do is come down here and I'm going to go zero, one, two. So I want the initial to be two. Okay, and that's all we need to do there. I'm going to close out of it, lock it down, just make sure everything looks good, sweet. All right, the next thing we want to do is when the output comes from here, we want to set it up to be divided and s take all the different inputs and then divide them into separate outputs. And the way we do that is with a cell. So I'm going to come over here and hit N, S, E, L. And then I'm going to type 0, space, 1, space, 2, space, 3. And that's going to correspond to the four menu items I have inside of this menu. And then I'm going to come out of the menu into the cell. And what I'm going to do now is make uh, four buttons just so we can visually see what's going on. So I'm going to come in and hit B four times. Okay. And what this button is going to do is just blink and continue the bang. Okay, so now if I come over here and lock it down and I cycle through these menu items, you can see that a message is being is going to be set into the cell and then outputting on a different um, outputting by itself. So whole notes will be cell zero, half notes, cell one, quarter notes, cell three, eight, oops, eighth notes, cell four. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. Now, we don't need those buttons to do that for us. This is just a kind of for visual cue, just so we can see what's going on, but I'm going to leave them there just for fun. The next thing I want to do is set up a message system where if it comes out of cell zero, I want to set a message, and then I want to send the message to the phaser. Do you remember in the beginning we had 4N over here? That set up the phaser to phase at quarter notes. So if we want to set the phaser to whole notes, what we're going to do is type M for a message and then type 1N. And that's all we need to do. That's a whole note message. Uh, this is time signature syntax. 
Uh, I'm going to leave a link on the blog if you need to go check out what all this means. But 1N means whole notes, uh, 2N means half notes, 4N means quarter notes, and 8N means eighth notes. So I'm going to go ahead and set up all those messages right now. Two n is half notes. Four n is quarter notes. Oops, I don't want n. I want message. So m and then eight n is eighth notes. Cool. And now what we want to do is output this message into the phaser object. Sweet. And there's one last thing we need to do over here, and that is right click on the eighth note or on the live menu and add to presentation, and then come into presentation mode, and then just drop that over here, make it look kind of pretty, and go ahead and save. All right, that's saved now. And I'm going to go ahead and come out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And then I'm going to take it from wherever you saved it before and drag it on just to see if the initial setting, which is supposed to be quarter notes, comes up on the menu. And as you can see, it does. And if we start the um, loop now, it should be ducking at quarter notes just like before. And once that's started, I'm going to go ahead and cycle through all of our messages to make sure they're all working correctly. So, as you can see, everything is working the way it should. Um, it just took a couple of seconds to modify that already great side chaining device from Point Blank uh, uh, Music School. And we've learned a little bit about messaging from the live menu and sending those messages into another object. In this case, it was the phase tilde. So anyway, I hope that helped, and we will see you next time. Peace.